Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a few unboxings to do for you. So, a couple of smaller, just, uh, you know, random things. And then we have a box from Jared Neves Knives uh, with a bunch of loaners in it. So, uh, we shall check that out. First up, I got these new stickers in from Sticker Mule. Uh, these are die-cut Shadow Ranger stickers. Obviously, if you are in the Shadow Rangers group... Over on Facebook, you know what this logo is. If not, go check out the Facebook group if you're on Facebook. Uh, there's no, like, you know, questions or anything. You just get to join. And basically, the only rule is that you uh, yeah, you have to be a dick and have fun, right? Um, we're over there just hanging out. Like, it's not about anything, really. It's just fun knife stuff. Um, if you want to talk about something else, fine. You know what I mean? Uh, but anyway, I got these cool stickers for that. And then they had a deal on holographics. These are both from Sticker Mule. So I picked up some Lefty Live holographic stickers. And I have more stickers coming. I had made by Tri-State EDC. He's now doing stickers. Uh, so I bought a bunch of stickers from him. A few different kinds. So those will be coming in. Uh, real quick, this package is from Urban EDC Supply, and I'm pretty sure it's this knife right here. Um, I am a proxy for a lot of guys in Canada and Australia and wherever, and here we go. Urban EDC Supply, F5.5, Black Micarta, Acid Etched M390. There you go. Um, so anything else in here? No. Guess we should take a peek, right? Make sure the knife is good before I send it to Canada, I guess. Is that the smart thing to do? Or do I send it, let him, you know, unbox it? I know that would be nice, probably. But I'm sure he wants to know if his knife is in good working order. So let's just make sure. I put skips in mine, uh, which is nice. And I also uh, kind of oiled it up a little bit. I didn't oil it up. It's kind of my hand oils. And then I put some of that balm on there from Lancelot Leather. You can see this one's a bit lighter in comparison because it's brand new. So I'm going to try to keep it that way. It is dead centered, which is good. And detent. Okay, the detent is a bit lighter on this one than on mine. That's for sure. Uh, you can see I can kind of Definitely has a detent, that's for sure, but this one is much snappier. Break point, it shoots out of there, right? This one, break point, it flies out and locks up. So um, it's definitely going to be a good uh, detent, just a little bit lighter. Like I've said in previous videos, um, I like my detents a little stiffer, but uh, this is actually a little better on your fingers. It's not going to uh, hurt after a while where that one will actually hurt after a while because you're putting a lot of pressure on your finger there. So um, definitely good. And if you're a thumb flicker, it's a uh, definitely a good one for the thumb. Drops to your nail. Very smooth close. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back in here. And I'm going to... Slide that in here and zip it up. <clears throat> and I will be sending this off to Canada. Shout out to Chris. Uh, then I have this package from Mark Kaufman. So Mark, I believe, is a fellow YouTuber. At least I've heard he has a channel. I haven't actually seen it myself. I should probably go check it out. He actually hit me up. I'm trying to decide where to cut this. He actually hit me up because he watched some of my videos. And he noticed that my nose was stuffy. <laughs> um, and he sent me a link to this stuff called... It's like a Neil Med bottle. And you use it to rinse your nose, right? Um... And I used it a couple times. Ah, I don't know if I'm going to keep using it. It's just, I feel like all it ends up doing is making my ears get poppy um, later on, which is interesting. And it hasn't really made my nose more clear 
You know, like it's clear right after, but then it, I don't notice a difference. Uh, he said he gets a lot of gunk out of his nose with it because I think he lives in a dry, like, area where there's a lot of sand and, like, just stuff like that. And it gets in your nose, and then you got to clear it out. I don't get that kind of stuff here. So I think I just was sick when he was watching those videos. I don't know. Obviously, right there, I, I have a little bit of a stuffy nose. But anyway, he said he was going to send me something. Uh, so I figured I would just unbox it here. It is a send cut, so no stickers or anything. We, we joked about that. He said, don't worry, it's not going to be more stickers. Um, let's see what this is. Okay, it's in a send cut box, but it's a Victorinox. Well, I should say it's a Victorinox box. What kind of box is in this box? Oh, wow. Look at that. So this is Hiker Red. So this is a Hiker model of the Swiss Army Knife. That is cool. Is this the one I have? So I have one that I got as a, um, as a gift for my brother's um, groomsman gift. Let me grab that real quick. Wow, Mark. Thank you so much, dude. That's so cool. So this is the one I have. So they are different. Mine, I believe, has an extra row on it, whatever you want to call it, stack. Um, and I don't like how thick that is. Plus, it's kind of sentimental with my name on it, so I don't want to carry it. Um, so it's kind of cool to have this now. I can put this like in my truck or something. Um and actually use it and it's a, a little bit slimmer which is definitely better in my opinion um yeah this is cool i don't know if this is like one he used or if he just had it laying around and wanted to send it on i do believe he is more of a traditional knife guy so it makes sense um you have the bottle opener wait that's weird that has a half stop yeah that has a half stop. There's a lot of oil in there. But the knives don't? That's so weird. This doesn't. That's weird. Why does just that one have a half stop? Huh. Uh, I thought I saw something interesting. So you do have the uh, screwdriver. I would much prefer this Phillips than the corkscrew like on that other one. Um, just makes more sense to me. You get the tweezers, obviously. And you get a toothpick as well, which is pretty cool. That's over here. Awesome, awesome. Um, did I miss anything? Oh, there's something creeping right here. Is this an awl? I don't know what that is. Is that an awl? Is that what they call that thing? Uh, I think that's all of them. So we have the uh, two blades, those two. What's this thing? <laughs> what is this? Oh, Jesus. Okay, I thought I saw a saw, and I was like, wait. Um, how do you open it? Do you litter? There's no nail neck on that one. Is there? Is this a nail neck? No, I think you're supposed to grab it by the front like this. Look at that. You get a saw, man. Look at that thing. Wow, it's sharp, too, and it's got dual serrations, like, crisscrossed. That thing could actually saw some stuff. Like, that actually hurt. Now, I don't know how long it would last, but that's pretty cool, actually. So, this is one I've never had the hiker model. That kind of makes sense. Hiker, I guess. Would I prefer the scissors? Eh, I don't know. I always have a knife. Do I need scissors? Um, this is cool. Thank you, dude. Uh, I'm totally going to be putting this somewhere uh, in my bag or my truck, probably, because I don't have a multi-tool in there. I have one in a bag, but not in my truck. Uh, it'll go with the tomahawk or whatever. That's awesome. Thank you so much, dude. I'm going to put that right here. And I guess I'll keep this box. Um, and this box can just go in the trash because I don't I don't want to confuse it in my box of boxes. Um, maybe I could use it. I'll put it up here. Also, should put ah should put one of these stickers up here as well. So we'll put this there. There we go. All right, box of boxes. 
All right, sorry about that. And then we have a box from Jared Neve. It is a big box, guys. You know how Jared does. Let's use the Swiss Army knife. Let's use the little blade. Where's the little guy right here? And I'm going to do this off camera. There we go. Using my Swiss Army knife. So we have a letter. He said, sorry, I wasn't able to get any McDonald's trash next time. It's kind of a running joke that he just shoves his trash into the boxes he sends me. But look at this one. This one's all neatly packed with this like folded bubble wrap. I think I got through to him. We put that aside. Holy cow, guys. All right, we have a lot of stuff. Now, I think half of these, whoops, I think half of these are probably mine coming back. I know this pouch is. I ordered two more of these, by the way. I love them. Uh, and we have these. Jesus. And then we have more of the uh, bubble wrap, which I'm keeping all that. So, perfect. All right, I'm going to slide some stuff to the side and uh try to grab what i think is mine first and then we can go from there right um uh, so let's put these over here okay we line this back up sorry about that guys so sorry i wasn't able to get any mcdonald's trash next time i don't want to open this quite yet because it's probably going to have a list of knives and i don't i want to guess right I'm one of those guys. So let's just make sure this is my stuff. Um, yep, I put the KPL things in there. What's this one? Ah, okay, that's my Kun Wu Tao coming back. Yep, got a pretty good edge on it. Looks about right. That's my towel. Perfect. Put these in the knife case. Um, what was this? Oh, this is my card. Okay. Get rid of that. Just some, you know, stuff to keep things nice. Uh, we got the uh, Dylan Mallory Forrest. Absolutely miss this guy. Oh, yeah. I sort of... Oh, yeah. That detent feels better than I remember, honestly. I was over at Joe's house uh, Sunday, and I was like, man, yours feels better than mine did. Uh, but I, I don't think that's true. Dead Nut Center, man, I freaking love the forest, guys. Such a good knife. Um, I'm going to run out of space in my case, so we're going to have issues here. Um, just to put my knives back, this is the uh, Small Orion from Artisan. I got a uh, titanium clip for this now, so I want to put that on in a second. But I'll obviously do that off camera. Oh, yeah. We have my Wii Roxy 3. Oh, yeah. Might need a cleaning. I put some skiffs in there. Yeah, beautiful knife. Love that knife. And lastly, but absolutely not least, the Pena X-Series Kickstop Apache. I truly just think this is a masterpiece of a knife uh, with the way they've done the detent on the kickstop and everything. Uh, but I do digress. Love that knife. All right, let's get into the... Um loners i thought this might be mine because i usually i have one of those that i send out sometimes in that pouch so i could be missing something this is probably just he has these pouches too yep so this one is actually from um backpack b uh jared had it on loan so he sent it to me this is the model six from concept he obviously put this stud on it which I'm not a fan of these things, but um, we'll see how it works. Very thin knife. Got a little weight to it for that, but could be... Um, wow, it feels good. A little 
uh, very muted uh, flipper. Yeah, not my favorite on this flipper tab. It's very small, and the detent's good, which is obviously a good thing, but the jimping up here is not very aggressive at all, so you're going to... Yeah, you're going to kind of go right over it. Um, it's hard for me to tell if the uh, hole works well because it has this thumb stud on it. Um, again, not a fan of those. I wish I could take it off real quick. I think I just need a T6. Or was it T8? So let me just take that off for a second. There we go. So lefty, you're on the lock bar, you know. Right-handed, yeah, it comes out pretty good. Uh, so yeah, I'll tell you, I guess my thinking on this knife is they have a cool design here on the Model 6. Uh, this feels like a really nice thin blade. Uh, it comes down to a good edge. Saber grind just feels pretty thin, but I don't know. It's pretty thick stock, so I don't know. Um, and ergos are okay. It seems like they had a good idea here, um, but they kind of missed with the flipper tab. Like, it just is not good. There's not enough jimping to catch your finger, and the detent's too strong. And then the hole is just not very accessible, you know, it's just, I don't know. It just doesn't work all that well um, for me personally. So I, I totally get why the thumb stud is on there. And I'm going to put it back on now because I think that's what we should do. Which way was it on? Shit, I don't know. Does it matter? I don't know. Does it matter which side it was on? I don't know. There you go. See, now I can reverse flick it lefty. How weird is that? Because I'm getting more power behind that flick, I guess. Um, I can get a better angle. So, yeah. Stud for the win. So, that's the Model 6 from Concept. Not really a big fan of that one, if I'm being honest. Uh, next up, we have a Kaiser box here. Let's see what this is. Ah, okay, cool. I actually wanted to try one of these. It's perfect. I think there's like a whole note in here. What is this? Jared, thanks again for all the great content. I really enjoy your channel. I don't know. This isn't mine, so I don't want to... I think he just left that in there on accident. go all right so this is the towser k guys um it is dead centered i've heard a lot of stuff about this knife uh the detent feels i don't know not that strong in my opinion the clip is wiggly so part of that is it's a loop over clip but i'm just noticing like right off the bat things are kind of moving around on me um ergos yeah, it's not bad in this grip. Feels pretty good, actually. And then you obviously have this flat here with a little bit of jimping up here. Interesting. Um, and that feels okay as well. Yeah, it's just a unique shape, right? Probably something you'd get used to. Uh, I believe this is an Azo design. Uh, it's in 154CM. Obviously, the Kaiser Towser K. Let's disengage the knife. And she drops. Definitely has the Kaiser rattle, that's for sure. I don't know if you can hear it on the close. You can hear the rattle. Uh, let's check for play with that action. Very minimal play. Very minimal play. I'm impressed. Uh, there is a good amount of locks. Not a good amount, but you can hear it. Every time I disengage it, it clicks. Not a fan of that. But it's not, like, hard to disengage, if that makes sense. 
Uh, this is rich light, the handle material, which is unique. Uh, it also has the three holes for the clip because you can have it ultra deep or deep. Um, the detent is interesting. While I feel like it's a little light, it does deploy every time. It seems to work fine for the knife. Oh, shit. I didn't think, I didn't even notice it came out. So, I mean, it's not like that light, right? Um, yeah, the the action is a little too good, if that makes sense. So It's a little too drop shut, in my opinion, that it kind of is obnoxious and makes it rattly. Like, I think a lot of people would be like, oh, that's awesome, it's super drop shut, and I'm normally a drop shut guy. But this is almost like it feels like the knife is loose in like more ways than one. There's a little bit of pivot lash side to side here. Um, but it's pretty cool. Look at that stop pin. It looks really small for the blade, honestly. But I don't know. Um, thumb studs. How do I like these thumb studs? They're pretty good. Thumb studs are pretty good. I definitely see why everybody's loving this thing. Obviously, I love a sheep's foot blade. A decent stock there, not super thin, but tall blade comes down. Uh, it's got a pretty good flat grind on it. I don't know how thin it is. I'm a really bad judge of that. It feels pretty good, though. Now, it does up sweep, which I don't like, but um, it's still going to be easy to get in, do my sort of pinch grip, and get those shipping labels. Um, the material on the handle is rich light. It feels interesting. It's kind of like nice G10, really. It's sort of like... A mix between G10 and Micarta, in my opinion. Uh, it feels pretty damn good in hand. I don't know if it adds weight, because this thing feels pretty heavy for the size. Uh, but I don't know what that could be. Studs are pretty good. I like them, I guess. They feel a little bit short, but I think it's just I'm not used to them. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool knife overall. Do I understand the super hype over it? Mm. Not really, but a lot of people ignore the Kaiser rattle, and I just can't do it. Um, it bugs me. So, uh, yeah, cool knife. That's the Kaiser Towser K. Oops. Sorry, I'm all over the place, guys. Next, we have this pouch. Feels like it's empty. <laughs> what in the hell, Jared? You're a maniac, bro. So, <laughs> I think he gave me this to go along with the ball sack uh, that I use on my live stream. It's kind of a butter knife with a penis on it. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? But it uh, goes pretty well there, you know. Put these together. There you go. <laughs> Jared, you are too much, man. All right, that was an interesting one. Next up, we have, ah, okay, this is what I thought was coming. He told me one of these knives was coming. I didn't know if it was the Kaiser Deviant, which this, this is, or the Kaiser De Gracioso or whatever. Uh, this I hate because I just, ew, cop, it just feels dirty. You know, it's supposed to be antimicrobial, but it looks more microbial than anything, doesn't it? Um, it bugs me a little bit. Um, so, great detent on that. Pretty small knife. I didn't realize how small this was. Uh, you can get a pretty good grip up here. Yeah, you get pretty close to the edge. That's nice. Back here feels good. Yeah. Doesn't quite have a sway to it. Just looks like it's a sway back. Good edge on it. Definitely a, uh aftermarket edge. Again, feels pretty thin. Uh, it's got a little weight to it because of those copper bolsters, but not too much. Good action there. Uh, yeah, now this does not have a rattle. This is sort of a beefed up liner lock. Um, it's almost maybe because they have thicker scales or something. Just a huge difference in feel and quality to this and this. This feels like a super budget knife. Where this feels like a premium knife. You know? not Maybe not like ultra premium, but like it feels like a knife that you would pay over 100 bucks for. Now, I know this one's like 50 so I get it. And this one maybe is over $100. Uh, what's the steal on this? 
M390, yeah. So this is probably going to be more of a premium version of a knife. Ah, it's a sheepdog design. That makes sense. Um, yeah, I like this. It's so smooth. See, this has a control drop shut. Um, and there's just a case for each one. Like, I love a drop shut, drop shut, like a guillotine drop shut sometimes. And I love a controlled sometimes. But uh, when we're comparing this to that knife, this is world's better. Same thumb studs, I think, too. Um, yeah, I really like this knife. This is a good one. I wish they had one that didn't have copper. Uh, I might look into that. It does not have a reversible clip, though. It's uh, right hand tip up only. Um, but, man, this yeah, this is really nice. Yeah. I get it, Jared. I get it. That's the Deviant from Kaiser. Cool. We got two more. Ah, yeah. I said I wanted to check this out. This is the Moen design. I think his name is Jerry Moen, I believe. It's made by Riot. And I don't know. I think he's the guy who designed the Mongoose or whatever. So it makes me want to call this the Mongoose. Um, but I don't think that's right. Um, so I don't know the name of this knife off the top of my head. It's dead centered, made by Riot. Again, you can just tell by the the build. I mean, if you take my Pena here and you take this Riot, uh, sorry, this Jerry Moen, you can just see it, right? You can tell when a knife is made by Riot. Um, it's just very sort of in the DNA of their build qualities. I don't know. I mean, you tell me, right? So... Um, I don't know. That's interesting to me. Cause then if you put this Kaiser right here, I mean, you can just tell it's not the same company that made it. And I'm not saying the Kaiser's not good. Just saying it's not Riot. Um, so you have this little slot here. I don't know how well that would work, but, uh, it is a bolster lock. So, Ooh, okay. Um, pretty long knife, honestly. Oh, that's right. It's called the tooling. I believe there you go tooling it's an rwl 34 which is i guess a downside to a lot of people um i honestly don't really care uh i i like all different steels i you know it's just would i prefer for whatever this costs probably you know 250 300 350 yeah it'd be nice to have m390 but whatever maybe uh Jerry Moen, I think his name's Jerry. Maybe he likes uh, RWL 34 the most. Like, who knows? Why can't I flick it? There we go. Uh, the detent feels pretty light, honestly. Feels really light. It's not coming out, though. Maybe I'm putting pressure on the lock. But it's like... It, but it is a top flipper, so I guess it's supposed to feel that way. Let's try it right-handed interesting the access to the lock bar is absolutely atrocious um you can see here there is no access to it so you're going in just right here a little bit of stick uh, i don't think there's a lock bar insert there is but there's a little bit of stick um left-handed yeah left-handed it's pretty good is it stick or is it just no it's not stick you feel the click right here that's weird i'm feeling like a little click right here it's not it's off the tang already so i don't know it's weird um the reverse flick though i gotta say is pretty good the ergos are pretty good in hand um it does have a flat grind very short blades so it's not going to be the thinnest behind the edge i would assume um i'm sure jared did a review on this if you want to know all about the cutting pretty good closing action but i would expect that for such a light detent um, yeah, you know, the, uh, reverse flick's good and lefty, it's a little easier to disengage because, you know, you're just kind of pushing that over. You don't need all the access a righty would. This absolutely sucks right-handed. I mean, it just feels weird. Um, you can do the reach around that jumping is super grippy, man. Wow. That's grippy. Um, yeah, I am not in love with this guy. So I don't know, but it's cool. I definitely wanted to check it out. Uh, I don't know how the clip works with this ball on it. Sometimes, like, those are hit or miss, you know? Oh, yeah, it really tries to tear up your pockets. But it goes in pretty well. It comes out okay. It just sounds like it's going to tear your pockets up. Um, 
Yeah, interesting knife. Uh, but yeah, you can definitely tell who made it. Uh, zero transitions, man. Oh, they're so good. Uh, so that's the Jerry Moen tooling. And I think we got one more. Ah, cool. That's awesome. Thank you, Jared. This is the Kaiser Sheepdog in the whole, so Flipper Delete version, uh, full titanium, right, in S35. Ooh, that detail is strong. Oh, no, that I'm on the lock bar somehow. What's going on? Damn, that detent is stout. What is going on? You cannot touch that lock bar. So hold on. Pretty smooth on the close. Right hand flick is going to be awesome. Nope. Dude, this detent is beyond stout. Look at that. Yeah, this is too stiff for my taste. Can't even... God, I can't even flick it. Let me try the fuller. No, you can't even get into that fuller. I mean, so lefty thumb flick works pretty well. Righty thumb flick. Yeah, as soon as you touch that lock bar at all, it is, you're done. Like, you're just not getting it out. So you got to be, like, on the clip very awkwardly to do that. So your righty reverse flick should be fairly easy, yeah. Um, but again, it is pretty stiff. The lefty reverse flick is just like, there, I had to go all the way down on the clip. Even the top of the clip locks it up. Um, ah, okay, I see. I have to flick at the bottom of the hole, so I have to put my finger down here. And then it's still pretty damn stiff. If I go up at the top of the hole, it's, it's just not coming out. Um... Man, that's stiff, dude. It looks really dirty in there, though. Look at that. Probably needs a cleaning or five. So I might take this apart for him. Yeah, look at that. It's just got shit everywhere. Um, I don't think that's going to change anything, but... Um, man, that's too... That's just too stiff. Like, they, I don't think they adjusted the, the detent. So they basically just took the flipper version... And they cut the flipper tab off and they put a hole in it. They didn't adjust the detent accordingly. Um, honestly, I'm curious if they had leftover stock and they just like chopped flipper tabs off. No, nah, it looks like they redesigned it. Um, but why did they leave the detent so stiff? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, for the thumb, it works pretty good. So that could be why they're just dialing it for the thumb. Um, but yeah, ah, you just can't touch the lock bar, no play or anything. Um, so yeah, right off the bat, it's kind of the same experience I had with the, um, the budgety version in my Carta when it came out with the hole, they just didn't adjust the detent, right? Um, they left it dialed for the flipper. Um, uh, you got to lighten it up just a touch for the, uh, reverse flick. Cause you got to be able to touch lock bars, um, you know, I've kind of got it down now, but I don't know. It's one of those knives that I want to love the idea of. And I do, I guess I do love the idea of, and I want to love the knife, but I just don't, you know what I mean? In practice, I don't love it because it's just, they don't really dial it perfectly for me and how I handle and operate knives. But um, yeah, very comfortable in hand. It's a good size, 3.25 inch blade. I actually was shopping these today, uh, but it was the Micarta versions in 10V. Blade HQ dropped them, I think today in my time, which is February 1st. Um, they dropped these in 10V Micarta liner lock Vanguard versions on blade hq they're exclusives they look awesome but again i was just worried if that detent was going to be too strong and it doesn't have a reversible clip and it's just a big bulky knife to have carrying in my back pocket you know um but it's definitely cool as hell so that's the kaiser sheepdog with the non-flipper um and then we had the jerry moen tooling with the light detent and no lock bar access we have the Kaiser Deviant. Oh, man, that's the winner right here out of this group. 
Loving that Kaiser Deviant. Uh, and we have the Kaiser Towser K, which is pretty cool. Just has some budgety feel to it. And then we have the Concept Model 6, which is a great concept. <laughs> Get it? Uh, but just not executed the way I think it could have been. It could have been a big hit to me, in my opinion. This one's an M390, by the way, which is cool. So there you go, guys. That's the lineup coming in from Jared Neve, and this one's from Backpack B. So uh, big shout out to those guys. Thank you very much. And then thank you to uh, Mark Kaufman for uh, sending me this Swiss Army knife. That's so cool, dude. I really appreciate that. Uh, Jared Neve for being <laughs> a nut. Uh, I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.